we have a written risk assessment and um, it's quite intensive and what we do is as soon as we come in in the morning the first thing we do is we walk around the site and we take a risk assessment with us and it's just like a checklist of everything that we do and we're looking at all the fixtures and everything and um, making sure everything's secure is there anything that's happened overnight for we've left the woodlands so the children are involved as i said with dynamic risk assessment so if we're out in, in the woodland exploring and we maybe come across you know a piece like a bit of fungi that we've not seen before then we'll, we'll you know get the children over and say does anybody recognize this um, and then we just talk about it sometimes you know there's things on the woodlands that i don't know what it is so it's about us learning together so we'll go away and we'll research things and um yeah so it's a lovely way of learning as well so we're we're learning together this is it's a huge woodland that we work in so we do have um, a boundary that's set for the children. So we do have a red rope that goes right around. And the children are very good with their boundaries and they know when they come to that area that they can't go past it unless they're with an adult. We do allow tree climbing. Um, up here, the trees are quite big, so it's not really that great for tree climbing. However, we do have one that's over in the Bug Hotel area, which the children do go and climb. When they are tree climbing, there's always a staff that's present. You know, just to see, you know, how high they're climbing and um, how many's on the tree and things. Plus, as well, we do have to check for, you know, the age of the tree, if there's any breakages in the tree, um, if there's any nests or anything as well, which is really, really important because uh, obviously we don't want to disturb um, any birds and nests or anything like that as well. So.